How do you guys feel when you're stuck behind a slow car? I know for me, it's something that I absolutely hate because I'm someone who's driving the speed limit, maybe a little bit faster. And when I am stuck behind that slow car, I get anxious, I get upset. And I can remember this one time when I was driving behind a slow car, I got stuck behind them on my way to church and they were driving like 15 under the speed limit. And so for me, that's like 25 miles per hour slower than normal. And I was getting really upset. And so I went to people and I was like, man, what's a nice way to be like, hey, speed up without like tailgating someone or honking at them. Is there like a nice way to do that? And so someone told me something I needed to hear. Uh, and they said, you just need to learn how to slow down. It's okay to go slow because it's a speed limit. It's not a speed target. And I realized like, man, you're right. I have been in such a constant rush that even slowing down for a moment become a, became a major inconvenience to me. So much so that I was asking people, how can I speed up again? And so I just wanna talk for a moment about this idea of slowing down because it's something that God has been teaching me. So we're gonna look at a couple of scriptures. First is Psalm 46, verse 10. It says, be still and know that I am God. In Matthew 6, 34, therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow has enough worries of its own. And so here's some thoughts that I have about this idea of slowing down. One is that life is just too precious to miss. And the faster we go, the more likely we are to miss what is going on in the present moment, to miss what really matters. I know for me, I can get so busy doing the urgent things that I become preoccupied with what's next and I don't experience what's going on now. I become afraid of being late. That's one of my big fears. Like I'm always on time to things. And so I rush from my past to my future. And the present moment just becomes a crack between the two, something that I just need to get through. But we don't get to our futures any faster by being in a hurry. We don't become better people because we're in haste. In fact, we probably get a little bit worse. I know that's true for me, especially when I'm driving. And it makes me think back to my time when I injured my ankle and I was in a boot for multiple weeks. And people would ask me like, what do you think God's trying to teach you in this season? And I told them every time, I think he's teaching me to slow down. Because when I was in that boot, I had to move slower. And I noticed that especially on Sunday mornings, like when I was walking from place to place previously, I would rush through. But now I actually had to walk slow. I couldn't move fast. And I started to notice different things. I noticed different people. And because I didn't look like I was in a rush, people felt like I was more approachable. Maybe it's just because the boot was interesting. Maybe it's because I didn't look like I was too busy to talk. And that's how I want to come across is that I'm available to the people. And I remember on Sunday nights, I would sit on the sidelines and I wouldn't be playing the sports like I normally would. And I got to talk to other people, other students that I normally wouldn't because I was slowing down. And so you'll notice from the two examples I gave that slowing down isn't something that really happens naturally. It's something that we have to practice. And for me, it was something that was kind of forced upon me. So we may need to incorporate some practices that make us conscious of our haste. So here's some ways that we could slow down. So maybe it means that we're driving in the slow lane for a week. Uh, for me, that's something almost unimaginable to choose to go slower. Maybe it means we choose to drive under the speed limit or to eat slower, to have a buffer time between the meetings that we schedule for ourselves. Maybe it means that we choose to go into the longer line at the grocery store. And I know that's not natural for me because I'm always looking for the shortest and fastest line. But as we slow down, we might notice different things. Like maybe there's the older woman who's struggling with her change and now we get to offer a helping hand because we slowed down. Or we notice the mom and her two kids and we get to offer up a prayer to God for that family. Because when we slow down, I know for me, it helps me notice all of those things that are happening around me in the current moment. So ask God to help you to slow down. This present moment 
It is the only one we ever get to live in. It's here now. It will never come again. And this present moment is where God is found. So let's live in it.